Yo, I am so excited to be back. Look at me, look at me, look at me. This is my excited face, can't you tell? I mean, I guess you guys can't really look at me because I don't have a face cam, but ju you, just, you just gotta believe it. Anyways, sorry for taking so long to make another video. By the time this is out, it's gonna be like five or six days after the last one. That's because I got sick after the last video and it was directly from the video. I was doing um, the voice for the, the demon box thing and <laughs> I got a sore throat um, and that lasted a few days. It just went away, but now I have uh, my nostrils are plugged. So I'm sorry if you have to hear any breathing uh, during this video. Uh, that's just because I'm breathing entirely outside, out through my mouth. So, anyways, we're just gonna have to suck it up for today. Thank you guys so much for the support recently. Um, we just reached a hundred subscribers. So thank you guys. So there's, there's a lot of new people because the most recent video did very well. Anyways, let's just get into the next one. Uh, this should be episode five of the Coffin and Andy and Lele. Hopefully, I'm praying that this isn't the last episode. Gonna suck if it is, but low key, it kind of looks like it's gonna be the last episode. All right. So, um, in the last one, <laughs> in the last one, uh, we were, uh, Lele was getting lucky, like, kind of freaky with me, uh, and I was like, whoa, whoa, chill out, bro, you know, I was being nonchalant about it for real type, type shit, um, and then our mom came in, she's like, I oh, had, uh, you best not be getting freaky right now, and we're like, uh, and then Lele pulled out a gun, <laughs> Lele pulled out a gun and uh and then took her down uh sorry I hit the mic and then took her downstairs um uh, I remember so now we're gonna go downstairs see what type of shenanigans are going on down here don't move don't scream or I will shoot why are you doing this don't talk either just shut up and wait uh okay hello Mother. Andrew. I'm just checking if she has something on her. What, does she? No. Okay, what's going on? Christmas lights. What are we... What are we waiting on? Got Christmas lights. Are we tying her up? Freaky. Oh my god. Okay, I'm definitely screenshot that. And that's definitely gonna find its way in the thumbnail in some way or another. So this is what your life's come to. Yeah, for real. What a crazy sentence. What about dad? Also, I think you need more than a string of lights to hold a grown man in place. Well, maybe it'd be enough to hold you, but... If I need your input, I'll ask for it, okay? <sighs> Sorry, I'm just so sick. I'm so stuffy. Don't take it to heart. Go find something to tie Dad up with. I'll keep this hag quiet. Dude, Dad didn't even, Dad didn't even do nothing. Actually, Loki, he did do something. Actually, yeah, like, Loki, he still, he's just like the same thing, bro. Purse? No. Oh, maybe this cur- maybe this- no, the blanket? No. Oh, uh, oh, bro, sleeper. Bondage? Remember? Chat, rem remember? There's some rope in the closet, along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. As you untangle the rope from everything else. Oh shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry, I uh, needed to... Uh, there's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. And the truth... I want to tie mom up. Doesn't sound any better. I want to fuck myself. Yo, what the fuck, bro? That is like the stupidest, dumbest shit you could ever say. Like, I would I would have rather said I want to tie mom up. Wait. Yeah, no, I, I'd stand by it. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She wants to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Our dad isn't just gonna like... Like... 
Where he's just gonna ignore the fact that we just like went through the sex toys? Okay. Alright. Weird. Maybe you should hang yourself with it? <laughs> why are we why are we getting these text boxes showed up now that are just hating on us? Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. Damn, we really about to kill our parents. This is a whole nother world of of crazy. What is going on? Damn. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why this is just a hilarious image. Why does he have pink eyes? Shouldn't it be blue because his text box is blue? Does do they do the characters really have these eye colors then? That's like kind of crazy. Andrew. W weren't you supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> dude, dude, what? <laughs> dude, what is even going on anymore? This isn't even the same game as we were playing before. Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with rope. You can't help but notice some old r rope burns on his wrists. Better not dwell on it, as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the right... Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is this... Is this what this is about? Money? You go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin? And where's the card itself? It's my purse. She tells you the pin, and you scribble it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna go try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. <sighs> Alright. I'll be quick. Why the hell would we tell them in front of their faces that our plan is to kill them? Uh, whatever, chat. Wait, where did she say it was? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Why is she talking to me? Fuck, where did she say it was? In her purse? I'm just gonna assume it's in her purse. Knew it, chat. I knew it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for the whole... F thing to blow up in our faces. It is amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Like... Fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Ashley. <laughs> While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual. All right, all right. Or at least what you remember of it. Let's see. I think it involved... Oh, shit. Cannibalism! <laughs> Chat! <laughs> More cannibalism! Runes, candles, and blood. Music runes and a book. Uh, well, it did involve music. But this one... Wait, no. Yeah, wait. Wait, no. Chat. Oh, fuck. Chat. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying chat. Wait. It had it had all three of these, but then I had music as well. I'm gonna do this. I drew runes on the floor using the warden's blood. I also set up some candles. And there's a big magic circle already drawn. I think that was drawn with the blood too. You nod to yourself, confident and pleased with your memory. Yeah, something like that. Shouldn't be too hard. 
First things first. I need some blood to draw with. Alright, chat. Oh, blood? Wait. <laughs> I didn't even put two and two together, bro. I'm slow as fuck, bro. Blood? Okay, we better get it from our parents. Two human shaped sacks of blood sit on the floor. You have to nothing to cut them with. Yeah, I'll be right back, y'all. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> Got a kitchen knife, W. Who doesn't love a. Oh, I'm not even gonna. Who doesn't love a crazy girl with a kitchen knife? Alright, so here's what's gonna happen I'm gonna cut one of you and draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care about what I'm about. Don't fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. I like that time when you left me to starve for three months. Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. <laughs> what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead in your, that warehouse you used to play at. Pfft, whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint. Ah yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done if they found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue. Let's see whose blood I should use. Which one do you cut? Uh... Technically, the father should have more blood in him, right? He also seems a little bit nicer. He's also used to the freaky shit, let's be honest, bro. He's definitely the submissive one in this relationship. Hey! Which part of no screaming escapes you? Mother would like to gouge your eyes out and feed them to you. It brings your heart great delight. Got blood. Where did we put it in? Alright, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Uh, yeah, we draw a bigger, bigger world. I don't know. Professional, I draw on these, but. It's a, it's a big ass circle. <laughs> Looky, Ma, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you, you never... I don't know. Don't let her get get a rise out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. Where the candles at, mama? <laughs> Dude, I'd never use that word. I don't know why I just used the right arm. I'm so sorry, guys. That was really fucked up when you said mama. That was so weird, bro. Candles! Is that candles? It's not candles. What is this, a cuck chair? They got a cuck chair? <laughs> who, who are they cucking? I think there's two. Wait, no, there's... No, maybe there is two right here. There's one on the top. Yo, who are they cucking in that cuck chair? I thought it was just them two in this house. Uh, there's gotta be good or somewhere around here, right? Where would you keep a candle? Uh, yeah, I feel like she'd, they'd just keep it downstairs, right? Yeah, they oh. Yeah, I think they'll just keep it downstairs. But where? Oh, shit. <laughs> Got four candles. Boop. Place this one down as well. I'm gonna place this one down. Alright, that's all the candles I have. 
Welcome back. Let's go. My bro back. Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card. I do? You do. I could only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. Ha. Suck it, bitch. Being insufferable runs in the family. Yeah? Well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up. You have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Okay. Off we go. Let's go, Ashley. Let's get the fuck out of here. You know... One of my uh, kids' names uh, that I always thought to have was Ashley, which is kind of, uh, I don't know, it might be a little bit tainted now because of this game, but just because my name is Ashton, so, you know, you look cool, you know. You're in luck, as the customer service alarm has just opened for the day, that somehow there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Hmm. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Hmm. Okay, I'm not saying that again. Roughly a quarter millennia later, Mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you just want to remove a draw limit altogether? That is what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy! <laughs> what if your car gets stolen? Indeed. Not all... Not at all being held at gunpoint here. Ha ha ha! There we go. You're gold. Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. Alright then. Have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. Now it's back into the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Okay. Bitch. We're going to the basement. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. Fuck you, mom. <laughs> Can I not tie her up again? I gotta talk to Andrew. The card should be freed now. Unlike your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. Though I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right here. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all your all by yourself at this hour. It's, ar it's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but... I mean, still. Just hand me the card, I... Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him. He's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley. You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Uh, I'm saving the game. <laughs> hey, if a game tells me to save the game, I'm saving him, bro. You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with his parents. Okay. Uh, why aren't we Andrew? So like, can we like choose that? Chat. I don't know what to do, chat. Uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a vodka chow. Uh, we gonna say fuck that just cause I want them to stay together. Uh oh. What was that little death emoji? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't... Uh-oh. 
Forget it. This jackass doesn't even have... Doesn't exactly have a stellar record when it comes to watching over hostages. And I'm still not convinced he didn't try anything on the lady from room 302. Never mind, you're right. I should stay. You go get the cash. Alright, good. Here, for the candles. Got a lighter, W. And the runes? Okay, so the runes are pentagons, but you have to begin drawing them before the... I didn't pay attention to crap like that last time, and everything worked just fine. True. Well, you're the expert here. Do what you will. Leave it to me. First, I just need some more blood. Uh, okay. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you've brainwashed Andrew to play along with this. Brainwashed him? My ass. Who said you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. Don't talk to your mother like that, young lady. Please? Got blood. Okay. Dude, you are such a submissive little cuck boy. <laughs> I don't know where that gene went in the family because everyone else here is dominant as hell. This looks like a father. More like boy. See, what's up with the highlighter blood again? We got the highlighter blood again. W blood, W blood. We got the highlighter. It's probably enough runes. Actually, I think there was four dash ten or five, maybe. Whatever. I like the candles. Well, everything is all set except the music. But I really can't see how I'm going to arrange that. I'm back. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time. I'm about to summon. Oh, shit. What? <clears throat> hello, hello, Mr. or Miss Demon. I'm sorry I didn't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the second-hand embarrassment. <gasps> oh no, okay, this is, okay, I, this is what I was talking about earlier. This is the voice that broke my voice. <laughs> it didn't even turn out good in the video, so like, Loki was all in vain. But now I gotta change his voice somehow. Oh, soul. What the fuck is that? I offered those two. <laughs> their screaming is short-lived as the demon steals their souls. Huh, I wonder if I should feel something. Dude, look at them both, bro. Their parents just got... Their parents just got murked right in front of them by this, this demon, and this is their faces. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. Why'd I have to play it last time, then? The circle is hard to find. Sounds... Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal is a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. Mm. What? Hello? This is the brother. Yep, the one and only. He may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but... But nothing, actually. Honestly, I don't even know why I keep him around. I see. Farewell, Tar Soul. Until you have another soul to offer. Right. Thank you, and bye-bye. The entity leaves. I don't know why I keep you around either. Damn, it's daytime, daytime, huh? I don't know. What do you keep me around for? I'm certainly no pretty lady. You can't even fuck me. What? Chat. Chat, what are we talking about? What are we talking about, chat? What are we talking about? 
I'm just the woman you blame for everything, so you don't have to feel, feel bad. Where is this coming from? I bet if I left you alone with our, with our parents, you would have sided with them. This again? I already told you, I'm with you on this. It isn't beyond you to lie. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I had to think about it. But shouldn't it be telling that even after I thought it through, I picked you? Andrew picks me one day, then talks to someone else once, and it's to hell with me. That didn't happen. I picked you. What more do you want? I want to feel secure in this relationship. But you give me nothing, and then wonder why I can't trust you for shit. I... I don't know what to say. Well then, just think about it. What are we doing about the bodies? It just doesn't seem to matter what I say when you get like this. The bodies, Andy, focus. Right, the bodies, uh... Well, on one hand, we didn't kill them. On the other hand, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just locked off somewhere? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right. So let's make them disappear. Right. We can start by chopping them up. Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, Ashley. We're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, before I forget. Here, you can have this back. Return the lighter. Uh, okay. Uh, how's it go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Ah, right you are. Dude, I'm like losing like all types of my voice, bro. I can't even do their voices no more. Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is dad breathing? Take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is! Mom too! So like nonchalant, like don't give a shit. <laughs> don't give a shit. <laughs> you try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw in air. Oh God, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable? That can't be. The cultists died in the warden too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, no, no! Please don't tell me he was a—he wasn't still alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his neck off, his head off, would have done the trick. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, that this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew. Look. Look here for a sec. What? Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you get your father too. What are you doing? There. All dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Relief. <laughs> Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Uh, 
All right, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa. What? Stop, stop. Stop, it's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Uh, great. The drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Uh, there's always so many things that I gotta do in order to do the things. <laughs> How do you unclog this anyway? After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Uh, okay. Let's uh, get the baking soda and vinegar. God, vinegar. Where the baking soda? I got baking soda. I got baking soda. Don't remember that? That shows like 2014, bro. 2015, bro. Got baking soda. Hell yeah, I got baking soda. You know damn well I got baking soda. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some baking soda. You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, I've tried. Or, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get it in there. But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just give me the gloves. Alright. Perks of being a woman. Gross. Why are they just on the... I always wondered that. Why were they on the staircase? Here you go. Have fun. And it entered the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. A seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. Oh God, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. How is she gonna gag at that but not at the countless dead bodies at this point? Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Andy doesn't respond to anything to that. Huh. Good, good. Looks like he's finally coming around. Though, there's no... She is a little manipulative... person. <laughs> she's thinking in her head, oh, he's finally coming around to the fucking name that I manipulated him with. Anyways... No, there is be there being no reaction at all is a little worrisome. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents, and disembowel them, and decapitate them. What fun! Oof. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she like doing like a like a little? Smirk Mog. Like, just smug ass <laughs> face. <laughs> just blood on the right side. That's funny. Having regrets? Would I be allowed to say so if I did? Of course. You can tell me anything. Anything I want used against me anyway. <laughs> I love you, Andy. I love you, I love you, I love you. Damn! This man has the most chiseled jawline in the world, bro. Actually, it's not that chiseled. Come on, bro. This is, this is like me, y'all. This is me in real life. Chad, this is me in real life. I'm just saying. I'm, just, I'm not lying. I might be lying a little bit. Nah, I'm kidding. Nah, I'm not lying. I'm kidding. Or I'm not kidding. I'm lying. Or I'm sorry for lashing out at you earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you. Andrew continues butchering your parents. And for the first time in forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. Yo. 
Guys, why were they so close to each other? Can someone explain to me why they got so close to each other? <laughs> <Okay. laughs> hey guys, why did that just happen? All right. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Uh, got hit. I wish, bro. I wish. Did did I wish? I wish. Guys, I wish. If you DM me right now, limited time offer, I will send you my address. <laughs> and then you give me hit. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding, chat. I don't. I'm not. A man whore. Chat. To all the girls that want me out here, out there. Oh fuck! To all the girls that want me out there, all of the fictional women that want me out there. I have no man whore. Don't even worry. Don't even trip, bro. What are we looking for? You cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat? You skin the heads. Got face times two. Bro, I wish, bro. I wish I got face two times. Oh my gosh. No, I'm kidding, guys. Don't even worry, bro. Got skull. Oh, I wish I got skull times two. I wish. No, I'm kidding, guys. Don't even worry, bro. What do I do with their faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? What about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later. Along with the other bones. Okay. Let's throw them into the fire. <laughs> Let's throw them into the fire, guys. Oh. We can... Can we burn the bodies here? It'd be like a cremation. There's no way the temperature of this gets high enough. Boo-hoo, watch. He placed the torsos above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute. God damn. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. What? <laughs> Let's leave this be for now. You throw the faces in the fire too. Dude, this the whole damn house gonna fucking reek of face and skull. <laughs> Alright, so we hungry or like why don't, why don't damn 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 I was trying to talk, but okay. Um <laughs> You pour your parents' organs into the blender and blend anyways. Are we supposed to be making food? Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. All of which you pour down the kitchen sink. What? Dude, you're gonna clog the drain. They're gonna find that in the drain at some point. How's that? Good as gone. Great. Now deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? Uh, okay. Um. Ooh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into some soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest of, rest away as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do you want... What was that soup you made earlier? And what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it. You fucking nerd. You're welcome. Dude, no way we're making it to a soup. Why? Okay. Chat. Chat. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling you guys shut up, so sorry. Why is it? Is this just normal now? Like, all we eat is just humans? Like... This is what it seems like. We're all just like cannibals now. 
What do you even like? It's not even about like starving and we have to. We're just like choosing to uh, just taste it silly. I mean, the first time we thought, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again, guys. Let's just fucking eat them again. <laughs> you don't have all the ingredients prepared. Uh, you cut the potatoes and chopped potatoes. You cut the onions and chopped onions. You cut the carrots and chopped carrots. Don't want the pot. Look at that. Much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still needed to deal with? And was there? Uh, do you think the soup is ready yet? I sure hope not. That shit was instant. If it was. If it is. Dinner is ready. Damn, okay. I'm eating two. Of course. This is the last hearty home-cooked meal for a while, after all. You're really not going to have any? I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available. Mm-hmm. Or, hmm. But don't you want to feel powerful? Explain. Well, uh, hmm. Let me think. Okay, so humans are at the top of the food chain, right? And then when I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of that. That's not really how that works, but whatever. Then is this your diet now? You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks? Ah, you're not getting it. Let me try explaining it again. I don't need to get it. I just need to know if this is going to be a thing. I'm the one who's going to have to sort it out. It's like, it's like if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Like, everything they've known and felt, I'm consuming all of that. And if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'd be all-powerful. Does this power leave as... You shit the corpses out. <laughs> no, no. It's just like absorbing nutrients. I get to keep the energy. If you say so. People will do anything. <laughs> except turn to God. <laughs> My fuckers will believe anything, bruh. She thinks that she's absorbing energy and becoming powerful, bruh. <laughs> You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, what would I do with that? I have no desire at all to be our mother or father in ca any capacity. Well, those two, I'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet. <laughs> ah, there, finally. <laughs> Nothing. Well, anyway, I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities. But we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Let's dish the soup. Let's dish the soup. <laughs> It should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Uh, fuck no. <laughs> don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Uh, right. Wh what was I thinking? You wouldn't wor even worry if I told you to. Okay, let's go to the soup place. <laughs> let's go to the trash can, I mean. Threw away the leftover human soup. Oh shit, now I'm Andrew. Okay. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bags. Okay, alright. Where the bones at? What are we talking about? What are we... Oh, shit. The flesh was burnt into charcoal, but the bones remain. Got bones. Put one in one of the plastic bags. Dig into the ground. 
Put it in the ground, maybe? Bury them? No, okay. Oh! Okay, she's downstairs. I didn't think she... So what do we do about the skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did we do all that other crap for? Quiet you, as long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess? You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify ba someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float, though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find anything to weigh them down, just in case. Okay. Ugh. Remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. You got a two to the skull. <laughs> Same thing. So he leaves the teeth, bag the bones with some rocks, and call it a day. Got it. And I know just where they are. Guys, I knew this last episode. I looked at these rocks and I said, Those rocks look suspicious. Yeah. They call me the genius. You place them in one of the plastic bags. Then you meet guys. Coming back, Lele. Don't even trip, bro. Don't even trip about it. I do have it sorted out. Bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean I didn't mean that. You flush the teeth on the toilet. It takes a few tries for them all to flush. There, all gone. You wish you could do all this with all your problems. Okay, I didn't know I had to flush the teeth down the toilet. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Ah, <sighs> do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone is going to go, Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't showed up to work in a while. So they get fired, so uh, I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lies, say we're our house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores, why weren't they just happy with each other's? With each other. I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant, it's all the same. Anyway. They can't all go, haven't heard from those two in a while, oh well. Someone's gonna come looking for the th with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children, who didn't report their parents missing. Officer, officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, it's just, I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We could be the new Miss, an improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. You'd run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, we'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley, I wish it was that easy. Whatever, I'll clean the basement then. Yeah, Ashley's a dumbass, bro. She really don't be thinking about nothing. <laughs> God damn it. I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. Uh, there's a mop right here. There's literally a mop right in front of you. This mop is too big for you. Find another. Bro, what? I'm gonna exit a mop. Okay. Let's keep this bitch up. Okay, pick up the candles, no? She 
Should I put the candles back in the box too? Yes. Leave no evidence. Return all the candles into the box. Okay. Rumor has it that there once was a brilliant mop here. Let's go upstairs to... All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. There's just no way to tell if we missed something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream where we're caught, I guess. I offered two souls, so it stands to reason I'll have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Okay, time to go to bed. Not on the couch, I guess. We're gonna go into the fucking bed that our parents fucked in. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You don't even remember what our remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it just said that I'd need to hold on to to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then I could I hold it this time? Nope. Oh, come on. And if you'd have a vision, you'd just freak out and overthink it. Your dumbass could barely understand what's happening in the present, much less in the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you, I'm definitely not letting you have it. Fine. That was uncalled for. I'm not getting my trinket. Fine, whatever. Have an awful night and terrible dreams. Andrew fucks off somewhere and you go to sleep. Well, this looks familiar ish. Is a demon summoning me again? It did say it would. The door is hastily barricaded. Something tells you to leave it be. Someone is at the door. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Uh, 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 I gotta jump. There's nothing to step on. Oh. Hey, hold on, hold on, chill out, chill out, chill out. Let me figure this out, let me figure this out. There's nothing to step on. Oh, I didn't know there's more flowers. Oh, there's flowers up here, too. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, slow down, hey, slow down, hey, slow down. We're good, we're good. We're chill out, we're all friends here, we're all friends here. Got an axe. Chop, chop, chop. Chopped wood. Does someone live nearby here? Then again, demons can teleport. But then again, do demons need firewood? Pressing questions right here. But let us not forget, you are being pursued. Um. What? Are, what, what, what? Like the axe is gonna help you any. God knows what's on the way. What? What? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Road sign gets the axe. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. We got the road sign. Can we put it across? Yes, we can. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nene. You probably shouldn't leave the path for your open pursuer. Uh, okay. Kick the road sign into the endless void. Goodbye. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Let me get, just get these flowers on the way. There's nothing to step on. Oh, 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 flower over here. I see you. Cheeky bugger. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Bugger. Got a wooden plank. Okay, I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to put the wood plate down over here. Ooh, I'm going to be smart with it. Pick up the wood plate here. Don't 
That'd be me, bro. Smart with plink. Even though this is just so dangerous. <laughs> like that shouldn't even be able to work, but okay. It's locked. Whatever, I can get the key right there. I can see the key right there. Let me just find some more flowers. Mm. It appears you've gone and fucked yourself. Oh. Uh, uh, what? Uh, got key. How did we get the key? What? I don't even know where the key came from. What are we talking about? Tiny tree gets sacks. Okay, let me get this tiny tree. This tiny tree. This tiny tree. Got what key? I don't even notice how there's a key. Turn into a puzzle game. What the fuck? Oh, it's Andrew. Ah, it's just you? No, wait. Something isn't... Well, I don't suppose we could talk things out. There, truce. Come on, Andy. Play nice with your sister. Tag. I'm it. You should run. In three, two, one. Wait, no, it's not my fault. This episode is titled... No, wait, wait, wait! Andy and Lele, and... No, Andrew, wait! And the final finale, finally! No, I'm sorry, okay? I'll be better, let's just leave and forget about all this. Everything will be just fine, I'll behave, I promise. You've already shown me that's not true. I'm not falling for this again. No, 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 wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew, I'm sorry. I'm so tired of your sorries. They don't mean shit. Whoa. Freaky dream. Chat. Shit, shit, no, 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 no. What did I do to piss him off like that? Why would Andy ever... No, he would never. Not my Andy. No, I suppose he might. Or Andrew might. It's him less and less and less. Everything okay with you? No, oh, uh, I... I guess I had a nightmare. A vision? No! <laughs> no, I was, it's just vague nonsense. Okay. Hey, Andy? Please be Andy, please be Andy, please be Andy, please. <sighs> what is it? Nothing, fuck. Nothing, nothing, never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. Jesus, what a shit reply as usual. Would it kill you to say it back to me every once in a while? You keep calling by me by some other guy's name. What do you expect? Come on, then. Our parents won't jump into the ocean by themselves. Uh. Okay, where are we going? Out to the car. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Are you picking them up or what? Hey now, I wasn't the one who packed them into this flimsy bag. I said pick them up, you dumb bitch. What did you just call me? Now, Ashley. Alright, alright. Thank God there's no one here at this hour. Vroom, vroom. 
Okay, so don't stray too far into the light, just in case someone does pass by. Andrew drops the bag and, and bones and rocks into the ocean. What about the skulls, since they're no longer in a bag? Whatever, chuck them. If you say so. Well then, my congratulations for your loss. Very clever. What is it? Nothing. So what do we do now? Whatever you want. Oh, uh, well this is new. How come? We'll end up doing whatever you want anyway. Why even ask me? Are you, uh, mad at me? No. What do you want to do, Ashley? I want to do what you want to do. Want to turn ourselves in then? Not that! What the hell? So much for my opinion, not that I was serious. You're totally mad at me, Andy. Why? Remember when you promised you wouldn't call me that anymore? Nope, but I remember half a minute ago when you said we'd do what I want. You're really going to treat me like this way? After all I've done for you? So you're mad at me? I fucking knew it. I used you for one thing, Ashley. One. Not a big thing, mind you. Not even a difficult one. Yeah, I'm mad. But so what? It's not as if you're going to do anything about it. Just pick the next stupid thing you want to do and let's go. You're fine with me calling you Andy back at the house yesterday. I had to be, didn't I? You know I couldn't afford to start a fight with you then. That's why you started pushing for it. You think I didn't pick up on that? Well, there's n neither appearances to keep nor corpses to hide, no. Do you want to have another go at it? Well? What do you want, Andrew? <sighs> I'm gonna lock you in the trunk of the car and drive this off the bridge. Ha 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 ha. Do you think I'm kidding? Ew, I don't want to be in the same grave as mom and dad. Then spare me half the fucking respect I give you. I will, right after you love me with half the heart I love you with, asshole. Say, how is irritating me supposed to inspire tenderness? <laughs> it's complicated, I'm a very complex person like that. The hell you are, you abso absolute simpleton. If I'm so simple, how do you... How come you can't keep up? I'd have to be stupid to understand the thoughts of stupids. Arrogant prick, get over yourself. Maybe later. Meanwhile, you should get in the car. We're out of here. Oh, where are we going? To the bottom of the ocean, dumbass. I already told you. I don't know yet, but I want to leave before the corpses float up or something. I wonder if we're fine now. Yeah, it's probably fine. End of episode two. Wanna save the game? Save game. Yeah, I'm gonna save the game. You can continue here once episode three, Decay, has been updated. No! 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 Alright guys, I'm so locked in, I'm definitely okay. Um, well, it's over. It's over, guys. It's over. That was the end of episode 5. Um, also the end of episode 2. It's, it's a really good game. I like the game. They need to hurry up and make more parts so we can continue it. But that was the whole series so far until they update it. I hope you guys liked it. There's more videos to come on other games. So if you want to watch those games, then watch those games. I hope to see you guys again soon. I hope you guys have a blessed and splendid day. And I'll see you guys later.